Switch Playgrounds is a lot of fun, and the recent update has unlocked a lot of great, powerful tools for us to use, especially as hobby developers. But what if you want to get your creation from the iPad to a computer? Or what if you want to test other devices than an iPad? Or maybe you want to share an app with a friend or a family member so that they can play it on their device. Or finally, you might be ready to release your app to the world and you want to know how to release your game from your iPad. Let's talk about all of that in this video. All right guys, let's dive in. To get started, what I'm gonna do is transfer the playground that's on this iPad to my wife's iPad. And the way we do that is very simple. You just select whatever playground you want to transfer and you click the, the share icon and then select the person we wanna share it with. And as soon as we're done, it'll be on their iPad. Now, that is fantastic, it's super easy but it's the playground. So they can edit the code, they can do whatever they want with it. That might not be what you wanna do in most cases, or at least in some cases, right? Sometimes you just wanna share the app with someone so that they can test it. In order to do that, unfortunately right now, you can't do that directly from the iPad. We have to go from the iPad to Xcode. So what I'm gonna do here is instead of selecting my wife's iPad, and instead of selecting my own phone, because we can't transfer it to the phone, I'm gonna select my iMac. And this will allow me to transfer the Swift Playground package to my iMac, which then can be opened in Xcode. And then once that package is in Xcode, I can then build and run on Xcode, and I can run it in simulators, or even push it to a device that I have on me that I can transfer to so that people can play my game on their phone, just like this, right? So now I have fast math running on my iPhone. Now, this is all fine and good, but you still need a local device. You're not sharing with anyone and everyone. It's just people you know, people you've provisioned properly within Xcode. You're essentially sideloading an app the same way that you would sideload an app with Xcode. So how do you then build an app for App Store Connect? How do you get your app to the public? And again, this is pretty simple, but it does involve a few more steps. So what you need to do is come into your app and then in the top left, you're gonna click on your app settings and you need to make sure you have a couple of things first. You need a custom icon. If you have a placeholder icon and you click upload to App Store Connect, you will not be able to do that. And that makes sense, right? Apple doesn't want to have 500 apps with a butterfly placeholder. So you need your custom icon and you can import it from files or from photos, or you can even paste from the clipboard if you want. So I just created this generic one that I had lying around for this. And then you need to also make sure that you have your team and a bundle identifier selected. I just created some dummy parameters there. Finally, all you need to do is click Upload to App Store Connect, and after a little bit of time, it will be on App Store Connect. You may need to fill out a few more things. I'm not gonna actually go through the process there, but that's, that's generally it. So with that, here's a great video for you to watch. It's me building an app uh, on Swift Playgrounds. I think you're gonna really enjoy that. And in fact, I'm gonna be building another app on Swift Playgrounds very shortly. So if you wanna see that one, get subscribed so you don't miss out. I'll see you again soon, bye for now.